everybody today we're gonna to be changing a battery charger on a 2014 spark EV it's not really a big deal for you not a big deal for me it's a brand new spark EV charger right here we're gonna go ahead and change it and code it and see what it goes all right now this car here hasn't been charging lately detect the Anderson diagnosis and it's a charger so we're gonna go ahead and change it lots of pulling up and whatever all right so let's go let's go Boom. Before you touch any high voltage car whatsoever, there's something you should have for yourself. Like, a, this is my personal uh, safety um, high voltage kit. So, what I'm gonna do now is gonna alert my, my fellow workers in the shop right now that um, I'm gonna be working on high voltage. So, this up there. Like that. Can I sit in a seat? All right. Also, so our high voltage sign is there. Now I'm gonna put a little caution sign around the car, but for right now, that I'm, I think they're 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 smart enough to know that I don't want them around here while I'm working. So the next thing you do, you make sure the key fob is far away. All right. Then we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our auxiliary battery. And then we're gonna disconnect the service connector, which is down here. All right? So let's get it done. Now on the service connector you got two sets of locks. You have one here and there's another one there in there. We're gonna go ahead and pull this lock here first to remove the outer lock like that. Then after we're gonna go ahead and squeeze this and remove the inner lock. Here we go. So here we go. Now as you can see, these will be your connectors, the contactors, and this will be your interlock. Just in case someone made a mistake and pull it, or someone that don't know what they're doing, the interlock pin will automatically, well, should automatically lock down the system from high voltage. All right, so we're gonna put this far away where no one can put it or access it. All right, there you go. Next up, we're gonna pull our cover. I already pulled our um, our tarp bolts. There's an interlock right here. Just in case someone will make a mistake. And don't know what they're doing and should you know should accidentally pull this cover off the system should automatically you know shut down so we're gonna go ahead and take this off here we go right now before we do anything else a very important step must be followed i'll go ahead and show you that now you want to make sure there's no voltage coming up here even though you disconnected the service connector you gotta make sure that there is no voltage whatsoever coming up there. So, we're gonna put our protective equipment and then we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and, and check with a multimeter to see. Now, this is a glove that was tested for 1000 volts. This is my protection for my glove. Before touching any of those orange cables after disconnecting the service connector, you gotta make sure that there is no voltage there. So we're gonna go ahead and look. So, so we make sure we don't have any voltage coming from the battery pack. So it's safe. Now it's very safe to work on a car. Alright. Okay, now that we know there is no high voltage in the in the system, we can now go ahead and manually we can touch anything else because it's safe to, to my angle so I'm just gonna use my tools now freely and um, go ahead and dismantle the battery and everything and get to the charger down there all right so let's go
Okay, as you can see, this is our charger under there. We're gonna remove the ECM and remove and replace this um, EV charger. All right. Yeah, make sure you, when you pull these coolant hoses, you catch your coolant. All right. Yeah, so I forgot to mention pulling these clips. The instructions are on a clip. You, it's one, two, three. The instructions are right there to pull it on a, on a GM electric vehicle. Um, yeah, slowly take your thing apart and remember where you take everything from, and it should be in a problem. All right. So now we're looking at our old charger. This is our old charger. For the EV battery pack, um, gonna make sure it looks the same. This is a new one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and have this removed, and then you know reassemble this car. All right. All right. So this is our old charger. So it looks like. I'll also give you the opportunity to see what a transaxle looks like down there in a Chevy Spark EV. 2014 uh, these guys did an amazing job with this car this car is so cool man so cool so fast yeah man it was a job well done so um we're gonna do some of the housekeeping before we put a new charger in and um go ahead and um reinstall a new one all right so here we go all right so we are fitted up now. Everything is back to normal now. Before we connect our terminal, we're gonna make sure we do the same process in reverse. So we connect the service connector first, and then we connect the 12 volt battery. But we gotta do some top up on coolant now. Obviously we gotta pull the coolant hoses for the charger. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and top up the coolant and then see how it goes, we're gonna charge. All right, we're gonna go ahead and connect back our service connector. So this car won't do nothing without the covers on. So what we normally do, we just bypass the interlock. We simply loop in the pins. Like that. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and see what's going on now for it. Alright. So you're gonna go ahead and clear all our codes and then um we just um, put it to charge. Make sure you tighten out the cover properly so it can be synced with the interlock. Yeah. Okay, so there we have it. Alright, finish up on our inner. See me not get no charge, you know, this thing, you know. There we go. Yellow light. Go green, go green. There we go. Yeah, man. You're out here, man. Ramp in here. Dangerous. Yeah, man, as you can see. Gotta go and charge, you know. Top of coolant and things, so I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. Okay, another well successful job done again. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please share your comments and your feedback, and subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.